All right, welcome back to Into the Breach. Today, it's the final episode, the final mission, The Last Stand. Now, for those who don't know, we are perfecting this game today. We are going to beat the game with all 10 primary squads. I've already done it with nine, and this is the 10th one, the final one. And then lucky start. Beat the game any length without spending any reputation with a random squad. So I already have a random squad. This is the squad I've got. Uh, they are from three different classes, so they do different things. And hopefully, this is the final... This is the final mission. This is it. I don't need to play this game again. I mean, I probably will, but I don't need to play this game for my channel. So, we haven't actually done the final stand on this channel yet, so let me explain what happens. I just need to survive. I start the mission. These guys complain. They're like, oh, this doesn't look safe. What are we going to do? We don't have any power down here. So they shoot down power grids. And we need to keep them safe. We need to keep them safe because I still have... Actually, I actually have seven lives left, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Okay. Okay. This should be okay. Yep, got it. Okay, I move this guy here. I move this guy here. Move this guy there. So this guy is going to push this guy into the lava. So on at the start of the turn, it should go fire damage and then environment. So all of this is going to turn to lava and this guy's going to die. This guy is going to boop this guy back. So not only is he going to be above the spawning ground, he's also going to... Dang, that shoots twice. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. And let's just kill that. We're going to take two damage there. Actually, let's reset. Can I do that better? I'm sure there's a better way I could do it, right? Okay, okay. Sequencing. I mentioned this in the last episode. If I kill this guy first, it frees up the way for this cannon mech. And I can push this I can push this guy a step further so he misses the, the power completely. That's a better turn, I think. Yeah, that's a better turn, definitely. And I'm okay with taking the damage for this cannon mech because he still has two more health after this one damage he takes from blocking the enemy. Okay, this is kind of good for us, really. If I move this guy here, I can boop him into the fire. Yeah, vol volcanic projectile. A fireball will strike here, destroying anything present. This guy's going to die at the start of his turn. I go this guy here. Kill this with one hit, and I just heal. Cool. So this guy's going to die, and then I'm only going to get one more popping up next turn. Okay, I think same plan. We knock this guy into the lava. Wait, the tile here would turn into lava. Okay, so I can't do that because this guy flies. Obviously, he's not going to fly into the lava. That's a dumb idea. So I move him the other way. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. I probably should have taken a shot there, but that's that's fine. That's fine. Actually, no, I couldn't have taken a shot. You either repair or you take a shot, and I repaired for this guy, so that's that's fine. Here, here, kill. Boop into the flames, boop into the water. Done. Cool! That was easy. That was much easier than I expected. I am playing on easy. That's probably the reason. Okay, now, the ground is falling in. Now we have another level to beat. Okay? Now we survived the first level, we gotta go down into the depths, into the basement, we gotta survive the second level. Now, not only do we have power pylons, we have to protect all these power pylons, we still have seven lives, that's that's totally fine, that's actually quite a lot. And we also have a Renfield bomb. We need to keep this thing alive. If this takes four, more than four damage, game over. 
We just need to make sure this survives for five turns. If it survives, if it survives for five turns, we win. Game over. So I have a lot of thinking to do right now. Okay, thinking done. I go here. I go there. I go here. I go kill. Resisted. Thank God I didn't actually think about that. There's a 28% chance that a building will just resist taking damage. It'll just say, Nah, I don't feel like taking damage today. And so it won't. Okay. Cool. Plus, I also blocked on the Vex spawning, so that's really good. I think if this guy can get right next to this Alpha here, or whatever this guy is, the leader, that'll be pretty good. Okay. Well, that's a shame. Huh. Actually, is it a shame? No, it's not a shame. The unit will... Tentacles. The unit here will die and the tile will turn into lava. I can just boop him into the tentacles. Okay, we lost power there, but that's fine. That's fine. I took a damage. Oh, he's taking three damage there. Oof. But that's okay. That's okay. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, he is on one life. So he does need to start healing or killing enemies. Okay, I can't put him onto this spot, otherwise he's gonna die. Can I go here? Well, that it won't deal any damage to the bomb. That's good to know. So, I'm thinking... Here. Here. Shoot. That way, when someone comes up, they'll kill the bug. This guy can shoot him here, so he'll die by a falling rock. And then this guy can just kill this. Because of the upgrade we got a while ago, he doesn't deal any damage to ally units. And I think the bomb is an ally. Cool. So all of this is going to turn into tentacles. Or get, like, sucked down by tentacles, I guess. Okay, notice how it's the last turn. On the last turn, we don't need to worry about the spawning tiles, because we win the game next turn anyway. So if I just... This guy that way. Knock this guy that way. And you can just deal four damage. I think that's game. I think that's game. We did it. Whew. It's been an honor. Two achievements, lucky start, and complete victory. Nice. I can't believe that was almost a perfect run as well. I am playing on easy, but I did lose 60 lives. 60 lives because I didn't stand on... No, I took like one damage, right? I took like one building damage and that was it. That, that was the reason why I lost 60 lives. Now, what I want to know, change squad, there's a secret squad that you need to get every single achievement and like perfect every class. What is the secret squad? Oh, okay. Okay. Dash across the map, damaging and pushing the target tile. Throwing needles at the enemy, pushing the furthest hit tile. Artillery attack that damages the tile and pushes the adjacent new tiles away. Okay, this is pretty cool. Now you get to play as the bad guys. That's really cool. I'm... That was a good idea. We also have no pilots as well, so it's just the... Just the bugs. Oh. Alright, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. It probably won't be this, but if you want to see me play through as the bad guys, 
definitely like this video, leave a comment, let me know. So thanks for watching, uh, I've now perfected this game, it is now, it's done, right? 100%. And that is actually a perfect achievement to have there. It's complete, it's done, it's a complete victory. I've completed the game. So thanks for watching, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's shoot that guy, move him over the tile, and he has to damage this. On his next turn, let's have him shoot that. Yeah, so at least he doesn't damage the building. We lost the pod, but that's okay. I don't think I'm getting to like... I don't think I'm going very far anyway, so... Okay, do the same thing. Uh, and then I'm going to move this guy over here. Have him punch that. Wash that problem away. <laughs>